One object of special solicitude was young people. It was our task and the Belgians, Hoover wrote later, to maintain the laughter of the children, not to dry away their tears. The challenge was impressively met. By early 1917, three quarters of Belgium's children were receiving daily hot lunches at canteens established spe specifically for that purpose. As if all this were not enough, in early 1915, Hoover's organization was permitted to extend its life-sustaining operations to more than two million French civilians living behind the German lines on the Western Front. Between 1914 and the cessation of its work in the summer of 1919, the CRB delivered nearly five million metric tons of supplies to more than nine million civilians inside Belgium and German-occupied northern France. In doing so, it expended nearly one billion dollars, the equivalent of more than 12 billion today. In the course of these exertions, Hoover, working voluntarily and without pay, became an international hero, the embodiment of a new force in global politics, American benevolence in the form of humanitarian aid programs.